In the vastness of our solar system, a celestial neighbor has captivated the imagination of humanity for centuries. Mars, the enigmatic red planet. Join us on a journey through the annals of astronomical speculation, scientific discovery, and the persistent allure of the Martian mystery. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun in our solar system. With a thin atmosphere primarily composed of carbon dioxide, Mars boasts distinct surface features, including vast plains, towering volcanoes, and a deep canyon known as Valles Marineris, which dwarfs Earth's Grand Canyon. Mars is home to the largest volcano in our solar system, Olympus Mons, and the longest canyon, Valles Marineris. The planet experiences extreme temperature variations, with average surface temperatures hovering around negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Mars also has polar ice caps, which consist of water and carbon dioxide. While its atmosphere is not conducive to human life, numerous unmanned robotic missions, including rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance, have been sent to explore Mars. Not too long ago, astronomers peered into the cosmic canvas, envisioning Martian cityscapes, sparking a culinary explosion of Martian life in pop culture and science fiction. Yet, as technology advanced, so did our understanding of Mars, and the dream of an extraterrestrial metropolis crumbled. But what if there's more to this cosmic saga? What if Martian organisms, elusive and cunning, are hiding from mankind in the Martian shadows? Today we're diving into a fascinating revelation that might reshape our understanding of Mars. Buckle up as we explore how a recent re-examination of NASA's data hints at the possibility that we may have overlooked signs of microbial life more than three decades ago. In 1976, NASA embarked on a groundbreaking mission with the Viking probes, known as Vikings 1 and 2, to unravel the mystery of whether there is life on the Red Planet. The labeled release, LR apparatus, took center stage, fully equipped for specially designed experiments in space. The LR experiment involved scooping Martian soil, mixing it with a nutrient-infused water containing radioactive carbon atoms. The goal? To detect potential microbial life. Microbial life, if present, would be metabolizing nutrients and releasing radioactive carbon dioxide or methane, which the apparatus would detect. Initial excitement surged as the LR experiment returned positive for life. Unfortunately, the LR results weren't corroborated by the probe's other experiments, leading NASA to dismiss the possibility of life. But recently, neurobiologist Joseph Miller and mathematician Giorgio Bianciardi revisited the data. They utilized cluster analysis to separate biological signals from non-biological ones. To accomplish this, Miller and Biancardi compared the Viking data to data that had been collected from sources on Earth confirmed to be biological like animal tissue. They also compared the Viking data to non-biological sources, such as rocks. According to Miller, the results of the experiment implied that there may indeed be life on Mars. It turned out that all the biological experiments from Earth sorted with the active experiments from Viking, and all the non-biological data series sorted with the control experiments. It was an extremely clear-cut phenomenon. Miller acknowledged, however, that skepticism about life on Mars would likely continue to be the prevailing belief among scientists and the public, at least until further evidence can be gathered. Miller says that he wishes he could get a closer look at possible Martian bacteria, but complains that, for some reason, NASA has never flown a microscope that would let you do something like that. It's intriguing that NASA would limit research in that way, and their motivations as to why are very mysterious. If life on Mars is real, why haven't we found conclusive proof of it over the course of numerous Mars research missions? Because life on Mars doesn't exist, or because it's being covered up? In the vast realm of extraterrestrial speculation, one recurring theme stands out above the rest. NASA. The enigmatic premier space agency, with its intricate web of classified and public data, often finds itself at the center of conspiracy theories. From moon landings to Mars rover missions, NASA's ventures are shrouded in secrecy, giving rise to speculation about extraterrestrial encounters and hidden truths. The agency's unique and deep involvement in space exploration fuels ongoing suspicion that it possesses knowledge beyond anything the public knows. UFO hunter and blogger Scott Waring alleges that NASA's Curiosity rover captured an image revealing what appears to be a Martian city complete with an apartment building. However, Waring contends that NASA deliberately concealed this intriguing photograph from the public eye. 
The photograph, released by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, depicts a Martian hill against the backdrop of a crimson sky. According to Waring, the image was intentionally published in a minuscule thumbnail size to obscure its true contents. Waring shared his findings on the UFO sightings daily blog, proclaiming it a historic breakthrough. He detailed his observation of structures resembling buildings, complete with windows and doors, nestled on the Martian hillside. Speculation ran rampant, with suggestions that these structures could be integral components of a larger alien city, or perhaps industrial complexes, factories or warehouses. The crux of the controversy lies in NASA's decision to release the image only as a thumbnail, rather than in high resolution. For UFO hunters and conspiracy theorists, this is a deliberate move by the space agency to veil evidence of extraterrestrial existence. I found a photo on the NASA site, but the original is only 4KB in size, Waring emphasized, raising suspicions among digital sleuths. For those who don't understand digital sizes, this thing is so small that it could be an app icon on your cell phone. Fingernail size, he added, underscoring the questionable nature of the photo's release. According to Waring, enlarging and enhancing the image makes it clear that it depicts an artificial formation, and not a natural one, intensifying the debate over whether NASA is concealing the truth about life on Mars. Mike Adams, writing for naturalnews.com, doesn't go as far as saying there are cities on Mars. However, he does believe that the Viking experiments uncovered life on Mars, and that NASA has covered up the experimental results. Adams says, We know that NASA's Viking lander discovered microbial life on Mars in 1976, but NASA still denies its own scientific evidence on that front. Adams then goes on to say that he believes microbial life is still present. There is life on Mars right now, living, breathing, replicating and evolving. Mars is alive with extremophile microbes that live in the soil and the water flows. In fact, life is abundant across our cosmos, which means we are not alone. In addition to their respective convictions regarding Mars life, Waring and Adams have long shared the belief that there is flowing water on the planet Mars. This belief was once dismissed as fringe nonsense, but recent NASA research has uncovered that there is, in fact, flowing water on Mars, not just ice, as had been previously thought. As far out as the ideas of niche writers such as Waring and Adams may seem, even the mainstream scientific community acknowledges the possibility that there is, or was once, life on the planet Mars. It's possible that one day, just like the surprising presence of flowing water, the idea of life on Mars won't seem so radical. For one thing, there's the presence of methane. Detection of methane in the Martian atmosphere has been reported, and methane can be associated with microbial activity. However, it can also have non-biological sources, such as geological processes. Seasonal variations in methane levels have been observed, and these changes coincide with the planet's seasons. This could be linked to biological processes. The discovery of liquid water beneath the Martian surface and the presence of ancient river channels and lake beds suggest that Mars may have had conditions suitable for microbial life in its distant past. The presence of perchlorates in the Martian soil has been identified by robotic missions. While these compounds can be harsh for life as we know it, some extremophiles on Earth thrive in similar conditions, raising the possibility of microbial life adapted to Martian environments. Furthermore, the Curiosity rover has detected organic molecules in the Martian soil, which are carbon-containing compounds that are essential for life as we know it. While these molecules don't confirm the presence of life, they indicate the potential habitability of Mars. As previously discussed in this video, Studies like the Viking missions have also suggested the presence of microbial life based on experimental results. This concludes our exploration into the tantalizing question of whether there is life on Mars. We've delved into the scientific discoveries, analyzed the conspiracy theories, and contemplated the possibilities. As we eagerly await future discoveries and advancements in space exploration, let's keep our curiosity alive. The universe is vast and full of wonders, and the search for life on Mars is just one chapter in the grand story of humanity's cosmic journey. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, the quest for knowledge knows no bounds. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars. Who knows what secrets they might reveal? What do you think about life on Mars? Let us know in the comments.